and, and once again, I'm coming and sharing with you. You may not like it, but I'm trying to share things with you that I believe are really important. First of all, this downtown project is a 50-year-old model. You look at Austin, Austin has not used this model, and their median income is 50% higher than El Paso. Huntsville, Alabama hasn't used this model, and it has the second highest number of PhDs and postgraduate degrees in the country. With quality of life, we must have quality of income. We do not have quality of income here in El Paso. Our income went down 4.68% just in the last year. The amount being the amount that was allocated in the 2012 bond initiative voted on by El Pasoans was $180 million. However, we've, you've already approved $70 million in certificates of obligation for this project, and it hasn't even started. The thing that was void in the presentation that was just made, not Mr. Rodriguez's fault, but there's no projection of where are El Pasoans capable of committing the revenues that are necessary to support this kind of facility. And I think we need to take a look at the ballpark. None of us would disagree that we have a beautiful ballpark. But this was a bond project that was stated to be $50 million. By the time we got done uh, with the tearing down City Hall, acquiring other buildings, refurbishing all those buildings, and so forth, uh, minus the revenue, we've had a million dollars in ticket sales in the last three years. The rent, uh, 1.4 million, sales tax of 600,000, parking of 500,000. We have income of $3.5 million over three years. We have invested $131 million in that project, in, either in secondary or tertiary effects. $131 million. We're losing $2.2 million every year on that ballpark. What will the loss be for the MPC if we don't understand income versus cost? Now this is my 334th, th excuse me, 344th meeting in the community. And I have found six people. I ask every place I go, who wants the multi-purpose center? I found six people in this community that want it. So I think you need to go back and ask yourself, if you budgeted $180 million in the bond issue, you can't deliver on that, you're not meeting the voters' wishes. That is an absolute lie. Time. He still has five seconds. Oh. Okay. Says, five if seconds. It, if you say $180 million, it's $180 million, not $250 million. Thank you. Thank you.